Hello, hello, and welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. This week, again, featuring social distancing. Hi, Matt. Hello. I'm here. <laughs> I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today, we're going to be drinking Teeling and their single malt whiskey. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Okay, so the Teeling single malt is a 46% non-chill filtered, which means it's also, since it's, it's all malted barley, um, they take these casks and they finish in the cab. It is in white burgundy, Madeira, port, and, ca and a cast fully matured in sherry. So five different finishing casts. Mm. They take all five of the casts, blend them together. Some of the whiskey in it came from a 1991. So it's at least there is some 25 year whiskey in here, but the rest of it is no age statement. So, which is pretty cool on the depth. So, and then if you want to see the history, we'll link that into here as well. Oh, the nose is beautiful. It's, it really yeah. is. Teeling is one of my favorites. Agree. Yeah, as far as the Irish categories, they, yeah, they're putting out some yeah. really fun stuff. They do make yeah. some good, good whiskey. I love the fact that they non-chill filter everything, too, that they're just like, yeah, screw that. And everything's 46% and up, which is awesome. Yep. <sighs> Leave all that richness and complexity in there. Exactly. So this is uh, quite sweet. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a lot mm. of butterscotch, a lot of uh, maybe a little bit of caramel in there as well. It is sweet, but it's buttery in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of like citrus, mm -hmm. lemon, lime. Mm -hmm. Perfume. Yeah, quite a bit of fruit notes. Uh, and, and honestly, I'm getting some tree fruit as well. Yeah. So. What else? Um, what, pepper, cloves, some cigar wrapper. It's very rich. Mm -hmm. Very. Salted caramel, some taffy. Oh. It smells beautiful. Yeah, it really does. It smells amazing. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, this smells amazing. And uh, especially the price point, you know, 50 bucks is not bad. Mm. Mm. It tastes even better. Yeah. I get a lot of the tree fruits, the tropical tree fruits on this. I think it's a tealing thing in general mm -hmm. for me. I get a lot of the tropical fruits. Um, but this is just buttery, creamy. Oh. Mm. Like, so good. Ooh. Yeah, some citrus. Yeah, we got a lot of like fruity pears, apricots, lemon. Wrapped lemon. like a uh, a Werther's butterscotch. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Oh all man, all the fruitiness, but wrapped in this kind of caramel density, butterscotch Creamy. kind of density creaminess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I I get some of those those tealing notes for me. Um, the mango and the papaya. It's not as strong as it is in the older expressions. But right. yeah, yeah, like I mean, that tealing 24 mm -hmm. that was yeah. just punchy in the face with it. This is underlying, it's got a lot more of the sweet, like you said, the butterscotch in front of it, yeah. But then the finish with those fruits for me, yeah, because we compared and we did the 24 year, we compared this to it, and it was a it was a good comparison as far as you know, obviously, it's way dialed down, but it is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that one's really hard to get, but this one is quite yeah. great. But yeah, I didn't get to experience that. So we sent you home a sample. It's all good. Haven't touched it yet, and it's gonna be a bit. Uh, yeah, there's also like a lot of blackberries and raspberries, some more cloves and spices, some more cinnamon, like applesauce, like a warm apple pie, and crumbles. This is just delicious. Crumbles, yes. Yeah, you gotta have the crumbles on there. Mm-hmm. Like crumb cake or mm -hmm. um coffee cake. So good. How's the water do? Uh, the water uh, dials up a little bit more of the spice notes. I'm getting a little bit more cinnamon, a little bit more clove, a little bit more of that cigar wrapper we were t you were talking about earlier. Uh, kind of presents itself a little bit further. Oh, it sounds good. good. Oh yeah, we uh, forgot to mention. Uh, it's um, all down. Yeah, this is actually the night we used this one. Actually, when Teeling was here, this one's wow all gone. That's the end what, of it. Yeah, that was know. last, what was that, June? Yeah, it was last June. It was almost a year. Yeah, that's surprising. And it still tastes amazing. Yeah. And that's, it's that's the bottom of the bottle, too. It's awesome. Yeah, and I mean, it usually, as whiskeys, you know, go down, you get closer to the bottom, it oxidizes, et cetera, changes, makes it kind of funky sometimes. It doesn't do that with this. Nope. It's, it's no way, shape, or form funky. No, or I, if I wouldn't have known, I would have drastically changed in any way from oxidation uh, i actually think it tastes better to be real honest yeah yeah 
I think it's gotten a lot richer and more fruity than it was when I first opened. Then we first opened it. I mean, granted, obviously, it was really good when we first opened it, but it's it's really so, good. So obviously, that's gone. And if you were to go get another bottle, what are we looking at for pretty availability, pricing? Very available. Pretty much every major liquor store is going to carry this. I mean, it's pretty much nationwide available. It shouldn't be a problem to get one of these. Maybe a little store might not carry, but I think any major, any big store is going to have it. Good deal. And what'd you say? It's about fifty. About fifty. Yeah. Right at least here, in yeah. our area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a good thing to area. pick up. You yeah. haven't had a chance to give it a try. I uh, highly yeah, recommend really, it. It's a nice Irish single malt. It mm -hmm. really is. And if it's if you're getting into Irish, yeah, I think it would be a really good starting point for getting yeah. into Irish. Yeah, this is a big step up from Jameson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, huge. So, I mean, that's well, only, is, you know single malt comparably to a a, yeah. a blend. A blend it's kind of Irish. But all those different yeah. finishes really bring some awesome fruit mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And I think, yeah, just yeah. if you're into different uh, finish, wine finishes, I think this is a really good one to pick up to try a bunch of those finishes. Even though it's five different ones put together, it's it's a magical combination. I enjoyed it a lot. Yep. I really like this whiskey a lot. So, Teeling, as usual, great job. All right. Again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time. Keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's good stuff.